Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 10 best tablets that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research, and I've listed them based on quality, durability, price, and more I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we all have the product for you if you want more information, and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description down below, ok so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 10, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus offers a lot of great features for a reasonable price, including an Exynos 1380 processor, a 12.4-inch screen with a 2560 by 1600 pixel resolution, and excellent battery life. It uses top-notch materials and sports an IP68 rating that protects it from dust and water. It also includes Samsung's excellent productivity in multitasking software. We like that Samsung promises 4 Android OS updates and 5 years of security patches for the device, too. Look no further if you want an excellent Android tablet that doesn't cost too much and is durable enough to use in your backyard or near a pool. Moving on at number 9, we have the Apple iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is a seriously powerful machine for creators and professionals who need a tablet that works hard. With the latest M4 processor, an OLED display, a flexible Thunderbolt port, less weight and better battery life than the previous model, and compatibility with the Apple Pencil Pro, it's a phenomenal slate for professionals. Those who need the most performance from a tablet, and can afford it, should consider the iPad Pro, which runs circles around much of the competition. At number 8, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is our favorite low-cost Android tablet because it doesn't have any glaring flaws. Most aspects, including the refined design, 11-inch screen, reliable hardware, and helpful software enhancements are better than expected for the price. Moreover, a micro SD card slot helps you get around the limiting 64GB of standard storage, while the face unlock option mitigates the lack of a fingerprint sensor. If you need 5G connectivity for travel, you can add a cellular radio for $50 more. If you want unfettered access to the Google Play Store and the full Android experience on the cheap, the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is a capable choice. It's fast enough for most tasks and can handle all your entertainment needs. At number 7, we have the Apple iPad Mini. The 8.3-inch iPad Mini might not get as much attention as its larger siblings, but it's sized just right if you value portability. Importantly, it doesn't give up any of the power, connectivity, or accessory support that makes iPads so popular. The iPad Mini is ideal for anyone who wants the feature and performance of a larger iPad in as small a package as possible. At number 6, we have the Fire Max 11. Amazon finally ventures out of the ultra-cheap tablet segment with the Fire Max 11. It performed well in our benchmark tests and feels snappy to use in real-world scenarios. The 11-inch, 2000 by 1200 pixel display is plenty large and sharp enough for enjoying movies and large format reading material, while the build quality is a step up over other offerings in the company's lineup. If you like the simplicity of Amazon's Fire OS platform or want the largest screen for the price, the Fire Max 11 is the way to go. At number 5, we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. With its 14-inch, 2960 by 1848 pixel screen, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is ideal for getting work done, watching movies, playing games, and running multiple apps. It performed well in testing thanks to its Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and 12GB of RAM. Additionally, the tablet sports a durable IP68 rating, ships with the excellent S Pen stylus, and includes a micro SD card slot. Samsung's productivity-focused tools make it a near-laptop replacement. If you want the biggest Android tablet for entertainment and cost isn't a concern, the Tab S9 Ultra is the one to get. Its giant screen and multitasking software make it a viable tool for getting work done. Just keep in mind that if you plan to travel or commute with your tablet, the 12.4-inch, 
5G-capable Galaxy Tab S9 Plus is a better choice with comparable specs. At number 4, we have the Fire HD 8. The Amazon Fire HD 8 has a bright screen with a decent 1280 by 720 pixel resolution. It's a more reasonable platform for medium consumption than the smaller Fire Tablet 7, while still offering as much battery life. It comes in under $100, too. You should enjoy the Fire HD 8 if you want a budget-friendly device with a larger screen than your phone. It doesn't compete with high-end iPads or Android tablets on performance metrics, but it's more than fast enough for casual use. At number 3, we have the Google Pixel Tablet. The Pixel Tablet provides a pure Android experience and feels snappy for everyday use. It's 10.95-inch, 2560 by 1600 pixel screen is enjoyable for media playback too, especially thanks to its 24-bit color support. The slate sounds good by itself, but the included speaker dock, which doubles as a charging stand and turns the device into a smart display, takes things up a notch with fuller, richer sound. If you're committed to Google's version of Android, the Pixel tablet is easy to recommend. It doesn't perform quite as well as some competitors or last as long per charge, but its audio chops are sure to attract music lovers and the smart display functionality can be a home helping bonus. At number 2, we have the Apple iPad Mini. Performance remains excellent. It outperforms the base iPad, landing closer to the iPad Air, and it's quicker than most similarly priced PC laptops. During testing, it was great as a day-to-day -day use device for tasks like streaming video, reading, and answering emails. But it can also power through heavier apps like 3D games and photo editors. We do have a few complaints. The display is good but not as bright and enjoyable as iPad Pro models. Multitasking can be difficult due to the display's compact size. Like the iPad Air, the Mini lacks Face ID facial recognition login and relies on Touch ID inconveniently bundled into the power button. And finally at number 1, we have the Apple iPad 9th Gen. The iPad is compact enough to fit in most backpacks and bags, yet large enough to look great while web browsing or watching Netflix. Apps open quickly, multitasking feels responsive, and demanding 3D games look attractive. Battery life is solid, with up to 10 hours of video playback. It also supports the first-generation Apple Pencil, which is great for jotting down notes. You can add a keyboard and mouse, as well, transforming the iPad into a barebones computer competitive with Microsoft's Surface Go 3 and most Chromebooks. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.